that gives me no confidence whatsoever. Um, it's amazing, you know, you get to 32,000 and you think, oh, I'm so happy with 32,000. And now at 64,000, you're like, would I still be happy with 32,000 if I went back to it? Really, the first 32 is sort of Hamish's money anyway, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, second, the second 32 is yours. <clears throat> Why are you laughing? It's I'm a just theory. <laughs> as you watch people on television and you see this sort of inner turmoil they go through, and you just shout, take the money, or it's Jack, it's German. <clears throat> it's so hard when you're here, it's really. You don't have to play it, you can walk away with £64,000. I'm going to walk away with £32,000. <laughs> and that's a fantastic sum of money. Um, I'm going to say check, Chris. Final answer. <laughs> Apparently not. Final answer, I'm going to say check. Ah, you've no longer got sixty-four thousand pounds. You've just won one hundred and twenty. <laughs> oh, do we love you? <laughs> love you are so brave. Yes, making your mind up can be so difficult, can't it? Now, on a show where there's so much at stake and people are playing for potentially life-changing amounts of money, you're inevitably going to get a great deal of knuckle-whitening, gut-wrenching tension. And what better way to relieve it than a laugh? Now, we all like laughing at that small percentage of the audience who think something completely daft like Alfred the Great was a chimney sweep or an escargo is a unit of currency in Portugal. But best of all is when the contestants laugh all the way to the bank. Have a look at it. Question number nine for £16,000. Here it comes. What was the first name of the painter Cezanne? Jean. Paul. Georges. <laughs> Ringo. <laughs> for £16,000. <laughs> Take your time. You've got three lifelines. If you give me a wrong answer, you drop £7,000. I can make a right fool of myself here, can I? The answer's uh, B, Chris. Paul. Final answer, B, Paul. Final answer. You had £8,000. You had three lifelines. You've now got £16,000. <laughs> Which of these is a novel by Oliver Goldsmith? The Pastor of York, The Bishop of Barnsley, The Curate of Sheffield, The Vicar of Wakefield. The, wick, the Vicar of Wakefield, definitely, Chris. Have you read it? I looked at it this afternoon on the way up here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a book about literature, Chris, and I was looking at it on the way up on the train. And uh, I got to G, to Goldsmith. He's an Irishman, Oliver Goldsmith. <laughs> Sounds like a very easy way to earn 16 grand. That's right. Final answer. Definitely. That is an amazing coincidence. You just won 16,000. And you still got two lifelines. <laughs> now, as he told us on Monday, Brian's a self confessed chocoholic. Uh, according to his family, he loves nothing better than sitting in front of the TV with a big bar of chockey, so much so that the boys now call him Homer Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike Homer, however, Brian doesn't drink, so after a hard day at the Nick, while his colleagues are sinking pints in the pub, Brian has soft drinks and yet another chocolate bar. I mean, do you have chocolate on your all times? <sighs> I've got three bars of chocolate on me tonight. Not on me at present, but um, me and Louise are going to get the chocolate. So you haven't got any now? Later on. No. Not secreted about your person or anything? No. OK. Which of these is not the name of a book of the Old Testament? Joshua, Jacob, 
Judges, Job. It's worth 64,000 pounds. You have got a 50-50. Top <laughs> <laughs> walk, test, top walk. <laughs> you really are a done that, aren't you? <laughs> Just have me thinking. <laughs> I'm going to go judges. Not a book of the Old Testament. It's not a book of the Old Testament. Final answer. Sure. Yeah. Confident? Want to play? Yeah, I'll play. Brian. It's the wrong answer. <laughs> yeah. Right answer is Jacob. Starting with stop, put the traffic light sequence in order according to the British Highway Code. Amber, red and amber, red, green. If any of our contestants have got that wrong, don't let them give you a lift home. Um, let's have a look then, the right order. We should all know this, the right order. Uh, first of all, starting with stop is red, of course. Uh, then it's red and amber, that's sort of get ready. Uh, then it's green, which means go. And then it's amber, which means get ready to stop. That's the right order. Hopefully all ten got it right, but I bet they didn't. All these got it right. See how many? <laughs> I love it! I don't believe that! We always say that every single show, every batch of contestants is different, but this is something else. Right, let's do another question then. <laughs> What would you like this time, everybody? Tell you, tell me, what should we do? <laughs> now, they say that one of the secrets to a good marriage is to trust each other, to share your thoughts, your fears and your doubts. Here's another one. Think very, very, very carefully about coming onto one of our Who Wants to Be a Millionaire couple shows. We started doing these at Christmas 2000, and whether any of our couples were still together for Christmas 2001 is really anybody's guess. If you think coming on the show on your own is stressful, try coming on with your other half and disagreeing on a £250,000 question. Couples who play together stay together, they say. Yes. Or then again, no. Maybe. Mm, sometimes. Coming on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire puts that theory to the ultimate test. Which American first lady wrote the book It Takes a Village? Rosalind Carter. Nancy Reagan. Barbara Bush. Hillary Clinton. No idea. Why don't you know? <laughs> Yeah, why don't you? you know. <laughs> what, um, what are you thinking? I think... What are you thinking? I just have a feeling it's Hillary Clinton. So, it's probably not. Russell? Not a clue. Honestly, not a clue. Did she want to go? No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. It has to be a mutually no. agreed yes. final answer. I know. It's probably wrong anyway. No, sorry, Lorraine has no. not yet given me her final answer. Can't, you can't risk it, you know that. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> We're back at the end. Yes. Thank you very, Thank very you much. Thank you very much, yes. Give them a big hand. They have been absolutely brilliant, these two. Bless you both. Stay up. Stay up. You go away. Great start to 2001. It's in your name, cos oh, you're the one that made the phone yes. call. <laughs> Just before you go... <laughs> with a quarter of a million at stake, if you'd said to me, Rosalind Carter, you would have lost £93,000. If you said to me, Nancy Reagan, you would have lost £93,000. If you'd said Barbara Bush, you'd have lost ninety-three thousand. <laughs> 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 you! The right answer. <laughs> oh, I was 
The right answer is Hillary Clinton. You didn't know you had an English. Hey, oh. have a great year, hey, you two. Oh. <laughs> In which country was the tennis player Martina Navratilova born? Switzerland, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Belgium. I don't know. Czechoslovakia. Do you absolutely 100% know that, to be sure? <laughs> Czechoslovakia. She might have lived there, but not been born. No, she lived in America, Czechoslovakia. <laughs> I'm sure, Czechoslovakia. 100%, yeah. think about it for a minute. I am. <laughs> Yes. If you're sure, I'll go with you. If you're not sure, don't do it. I'm sure it's Czechoslovakia, but would you be mad if it was wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Czechoslovakia. OK. <laughs> right. Czechoslovakia. Final answer. <laughs> yeah. You've just won 8,000... <laughs> Vanilla pods used in cooking are fruits containing the seeds of which tropical flower? Lily, sweet pea, honeysuckle, orchid. It's for a quarter of a million. Orchid. Are you sure? I haven't got a clue. I was hoping you were going to say I don't know. <laughs> I know you were. Not honeysuckle. It's not sweet pea. Don't think it's Lily. I reckon it's orchid. I will be quite happy to take the money. And even if Chris says it's orchid, I don't mind being kicked all the way home. Because <laughs> at least you got 125,000. You were quite happy with 32 just now. Yeah, I was, but I got 125 now. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was it to bring couples on? <laughs> 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 oh. You're three questions away from a million pounds. This is worth 250,000. 125 is more than we ever thought we'd get. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. I still think it's all <laughs> I still think we should take the money. <sighs> you don't really want to lose 90 odd thousand, do you? I wouldn't say orchid if I thought we were going to lose it. Take the money. I know you want to gamble. Take the money. If you want to take the money, take the money. I'm having trouble now. <laughs> now I've done it, haven't I? Yeah? <laughs> I'm sitting in front of that Go on, take the money. Right, you can clout me afterwards. I will. I know. I'll take the money. Final answer. Give them a big hand. They go away with <laughs> 125 I just hope for my sake, Never mind. <laughs> I'm not brave enough for that. Now, you probably want to know... No, no, no. no. <laughs> if you'd said to me, Lily, you'd just lost £93,000. If you said to me, Sweet Pea, you'd have just lost £93,000. If you'd said to me, Honeysuckle, you'd have just lost £93,000. <laughs> the right answer was Orchid. Kill him. <laughs> oh, good luck tonight, Cornwall. Oh. <laughs> Over three years of doing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, I have gone through every emotion known to man. 
I've had palpitations as contestants somehow got to just £500. Miraculously, in a couple of cases, I've agonised as they struggled to get the £32,000 question right, and I've rejoiced when they got a million. And when it's all said and done, this show is all about making someone a millionaire. And if you'd like to join that elite, let me give you a few tips to help you get there. Study hard. Remember every fact you've ever learnt. Keep your cool and sit in this seat for fastest finger first. Seat number eight. It's probably the luckiest seat in Britain. And by one of those amazing coincidences that seem to crop up all the time on this show, our first two millionaires, Judith Keppel and David Edwards, both sprang from here after they'd won fastest finger first. And 20 minutes of fantastic television later, they left the hot seat each with a cheque for £1 million. Now, we shared some great moments in the past, and I know there are more, many, many more to come, because this is the show that has it all. Excitement, tension, drama and emotion. And maybe that's why it's the biggest quiz show on the planet. Oh, and it also makes people millionaires. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next show. Bye-bye. The discovery of what helped archaeologists, why are you nodding at me, helped archaeologists to decipher hieroglyphics. Do you think you know what it is? Well, even if I don't know the answer, you'd always look clever when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are the coolest we've had for weeks. Right. I think it's the Rosetta Stone. I think it's what? The Rosetta Stone. That's if it what comes I'm up, will you go for it? I'm going for it if it comes up. Just keep if nodding. If it doesn't, I'm going home. <laughs> Just keep nodding anyway, because you look good. Just keep nodding. <laughs> right, the discovery of what helped archaeologists to decipher hieroglyphics. You think it's the Rosetta Stone. If that comes up, you say you're going to play. You don't have to, Andy. You would lose £93,000 if you're wrong. It may not come up. If it doesn't come doesn't up, panic. Up. Have a look at the four possibilities. Dead Sea Scrolls. Elgin Marbles. Venus de Milo. Rosetta Stone. Yeah, T, Rosetta Stone. You know if you're wrong, you lose 93,000. Yeah, and you know you're only nodding your head to look dead intelligent. <laughs> yeah, Do you yeah, want to play this yeah, question? Definitely. Rosetta Stone. Final answer. Final answer. Sometimes I can't bear to look at my own screen. <laughs> you just won a quarter of a million. Oh, you're right. I'm the last two. In mythology, who was the twin of Castor? Why are you grinning at me? Because I know it. <laughs> what do you want to see come up on the screen? Pollocks. Sorry. <laughs> I just said, what do you want to see come up on the screen? <laughs> Pollocks. Pollocks. Very desperately with a P. The twin <laughs> of Castor. Yes. OK. Endymion. Achilles. Leander. <laughs> Pollocks. Now, you obviously don't have to play it, you sounded very confident. You do lose £93,000 if your instincts are wrong. You've still got a 50-50 and you can still ask this audience. Castor and Achilles, Castor and Endymion, Castor and... No, Castor and Pollux, yes. Final answer. Yes, it's my final answer. You just won £250,000! <laughs> Have a look at question number 13. It's worth a quarter of a million. Which gas is a constituent of common salt? Oxygen, chlorine, hydrogen, argon. It's chlorine. <laughs> well, Keith, stretch it a bit, please. <laughs> no, no, no. Chlorine, definite final answer. But you realise if it goes on like this, you're going to be asking the audience on a million quid. I know. <laughs> final answer, chlorine. Yeah, definitely. 
You've just won two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. <laughs> Have a look. Have a look. You've got two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Serious check. Still shaking? Yeah. <laughs> Kids said, "Don't do jokes." Yeah. They said, "Don't be a goon and don't do jokes." Dad. They can't tell me what to do now. I don't think they can. <laughs> Have a look at question number fifteen of fifteen. Which king was married to Eleanor of Aquitaine? Henry the First, Henry the Second, Richard the First, Henry the Fifth. I think it's Henry II. <laughs> I saw her tomb, funnily enough, in France this summer. And what did it say on it? Well, I... <laughs> that's, that's quite I important. I hope it said that she was married to Henry II. I said I wasn't going to gamble when I came back, and I sort of can't resist it. <laughs> you've got £32,000 at the moment, you've got half a million. I did it at school for A-levels, and I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Take I mean, your it was time, a long take as long as you need. Um, I do think it's Henry II. I think it's Henry II. It's up to you. I'm going to say Henry II. Final answer. Yep. Final answer. You've just won one million. If you planted the seeds of Quercus roba, what would grow? Trees, flowers, vegetables, grain. Quercus is a type of tree, Chris. I just hope that... The, <laughs> that doesn't cover the others as well. I, I, certainly not vegetables, certainly not grain. I don't think flowers. I certainly know of trees that have got the, uh, the uh, botanical name Quercus. I'm going to go for it. Sure, sure, hang on. Yes. Can we just calm down, please, audience? <laughs> Yeah, I'm delighted, but can we just remind David that if he's wrong, he loses £468,000. It's not your money, everybody, OK? <laughs> it's your call, David. Just take your time. You've got £500,000. You can walk away with 500000 but it's worth a million. No, I'm... Uh, I'm almost certain. It's a horrible word, almost, isn't it? It is at this level. Yes. I'm nearly certain it's a tree. I don't like the way you're screwing up your eyes. But... I don't like the way you keep saying nearly. <laughs> you want to play? I'm going to play. Final answer. Mm -hmm. You had £500,000, you went for trees. If you'd gone for flowers, <laughs> you'd have just lost £468,000. If you'd gone for vegetables, you'd have just lost £468,000. If you'd gone for grain, and you didn't think it could possibly be grain, if you'd gone for grain, you just have lost four hundred and sixty. <laughs> you are a 